So this this is this this story's been going around. Have you heard about this? Oh yeah, yeah. So for we actually did it. I didn't even know about it until it was written into a sketch we did with Mike Pompeo. <laughs> I didn't even know about this, but former Navy pilot said he saw a UFO, something I'd never seen in my life. So that was from December twentieth, twenty seventeen. And um, you're like, wow, I wonder why this is coming out now. Like, why is this coming out? Because they see this shit all the time. Um, as I got close to it, it rapidly accelerated to the south and disappeared in less than two seconds. So these guys are in fighter jets going, you know, Mach 1 or whatever, how fast they can go. And they see something, their most sophisticated... Um, what is it called? Instrument? Heat, heat, heat sensors. What are those called? Infrared, Infrared sensor. Nice. Picked up something. And uh, it was flying against the wind, 110 knots. Uh, and a bunch of them were. And then all of a sudden they just, boom. They went faster than their uh, instruments could keep up with. Really? They moved faster than a freaking F-16 jets? Instruments? could Really? Yeah, uh, the object in question had no wings. As such, one might think it was a helicopter. Not so, said Fravor. Who I'm sure someone, by the way, uh, um, because it, don't you think, think someone will go, oh, uh, there are a bunch of conspiracy theorists, UFO conspiracy. They believe in UFOs over it. Well, I guess now it's okay because the CNN's reporting it. <laughs> Because if, if, believe me, if I had just reported this without CNN's imprimatur, they would be, Jimmy Doyle, crazy, argh, argh. but like, it's okay because CNN says so. Uh, did you see Did you see the University uh, of, in Alaska? Did you see what they came out with? Their engineers came out with? Okay. No, not. Uh, so the object had no wings, as such one might think it was a helicopter. Not so, said Fravor, who noted clear differences between a chopper and the aircraft he came across. When helicopters move side to side, they kind of slow and then they pick up speed going the other way, Fravor explained. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. It would hit and go the other way. That's not what helicopters go. And then guess what just happened? The U.S. Navy just confirmed that this was real. So that was from 2017. Two years later. Two years later, the U.S. Navy just confirmed these UFOs videos are the real deal. The U.S. Navy has finally acknowledged footage purportedly purported to show UFOs hurtling through the air. And while officials said they don't know what the objects are, they're not indulging any hints other uh, uh, e either. The public clips capture just a fraction of the frequent incursions Navy training rages see, he said. Right. For many years, our aviators didn't report these incursions because of the stigma attached to previous terminology and theories about what may or may not be in those videos, he said. Oh so, gosh. again, there's again, pilots don't report this stuff because they don't want to, people to start smearing them as conspiracy theorists, crazy people just because they're reporting what they saw. Just like they do it all the time. Anybody who says something that they don't like immediately smear you as a conspiracy theorist. That's exactly, that's the establishment's game. That's what the CIA started doing around the JFK uh, assassination, and it's continued, and it works perfectly. It works. Um, and, of course, the, of course, the biggest pushers of conspiracies are the establishment news and the United States government. Right now, they're pushing a conspiracy about uh, uh, Iran bombing Saudi Arabia. Didn't happen. And the news has been pushing Russiagate, uh, uh, that our president is a Manchurian candidate working in secret for another power. That's their assertion. That's a conspiracy theory. That's been debunked. It's a fucking hoax. Mm -hmm. So the, the biggest pushers of, of, of evidence-free conspiracy theories are the mainstream go uh, news and the government. Just keep that in mind. But there's never a price to pay for those people. There's never a price to pay for people who pushed Russia Gate. A, a hoax, evidence free hoax that I saw through from day one. We know what that means. That means it's easy to see through if I saw through it. And anybody else who didn't was not seeing it purposely. 
willfully. Just like all the right-wingers went nuts when Barack Obama, when we elected a black guy with a Muslim name. Oh, my God, where's his birth certificate, birth certificate, birth certificate? He's not an American citizen, birth certificate. Just like that. He's going to lock you up in FEMA camps. Remember all that stuff? Well, then the left did it when Trump, their version of Obama, Donald Trump, got elected. They completely became fucking maniacs, too. Even worse than the right-winger. Even I would say even worse. Because there's a lot of people on the right that didn't go along with that birth certificate shit and they didn't go along with the FEMA camp. Everybody on the left went along with fucking this evidence-free conspiracy theory called Russia Gate, which is nothing but a hoax perpetrated on you by the Democratic Party, the establishment news media, and the intelligence community, the CIA. That's what's happened. Okay, so here, uh, let's get to Give this. Me, you know, I just want to go back to what you were saying, that it's interesting that... They, we have pilots that have actually seen UFOs who've decided, I can't report it. I can't report because it. Because of the stigma right. that's attached to it. Of course. Can you imagine? That That has that has long, long-term long consequences. Well, there's lots of people right now who won't ask legitimate questions because they'll be smeared. Yeah. Lot, there's lots of legitimate questions to be to be asked right now about lots of stuff. They you, You're not allowed to ask them. You're not allowed to ask those questions. Uh, I don't. I can't remember the last time in my life when you weren't allowed to ask about an open murder investigation. I don't. I don't know when that's ever happened before. But it's happened. It's happening now. You can't. can You can't ask about. It. But here's this video of UFOs. So this is okay now because CNN says so. <laughs> UFO sightings are okay. Just so you know, UFO sightings are okay. Legitimate questions about the primary in 2016 not okay. But this, oh, look, UFO sightings. By the way, there's the UFO. No wings. That's it. So he goes, look at that thing. It's rotating. According to the U.S. Navy, the objects in these videos are unidentified aerial phenomena. There have been a number of reports of authorized and or unidentified aircraft entering U.S. military-controlled ranges and designated airspaces. Declassified video from 2004 off the coast of Southern California caught this image. There it is. Look at it. Look at that. Look how fast it's moving. F-18 pilots off the Atlantic coast. And there was a bunch of them. So this is just one, but there is a whole bunch of them. It's unclear how many sightings have been reported behind closed doors. And here's Trump. Read and I've heard, and I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. Do you think you'd know if there were evidence of extraterrestrials? Well, I think my great, our great pilots would know. Uh, and some of them really see things that are a little bit different than in the past. So we're going to see. So in order to identify and understand what's going on, we need more data, more reporting, says uh, Navy spokesman. So there, but there it is. Okay, wait a minute. You would actually think that there would be uh, concerned leaders in the military about an unidentified flying object like that, that nobody seems to be all that worried about. They see it all the time, by the way. Yeah. They see this stuff all the time. And so, you know, that goes back to the oldest reports that I can remember as a kid hearing about UFOs. They always say they're cylindrical shaped with no wings. Cigar shaped with no wings or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's why it could look like a saucer from the side. Yeah. But um, there it is. That's the that's the Navy saying, yep, those are pilots going, what the F is this? And you can if you can hear on them, they go, they're all flying against the wind. They're going against it. And then the wind, I think they said 120 knots or 110 knots. If he said it was 100 knots, that's over 100 miles an hour. It's 111 miles per hour. According to this yeah. guy. It's 111. Okay. Yeah. How are they flying in a hundred? Oh, it must be maybe the jet stream or something up there, right? We're, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe there was they were flying against the jet stream. I don't know. Uh, all I know is what I saw on here. So here's another one. Let's let's watch this. This is um, official USG footage. This is the second of three U.S. military videos of an unidentified aerial phenomenon. They call it a UAP, not a UFO. UAP. Isn't oh, that funny? that's better. It's a UAP. Phenomenon. It's a UAP. It's a phenomenon. Is it, is it a flying object? Yes. Is it identified? No. Is it an unidentified flying object? Yes. What do you call it? UAP. <laughs> uh, this has been approved for public release. 
It is the only official footage that has been released that has that was taken during the 2004 Nimitz incident and has a chain of custody documentation to ensure. Okay, so do you know this is real? It was this was taken aboard the Navy F A eighteen Super Hornet. The Unaltered footage was captured by a Raytheon advanced targeting forward-looking infrared. That's called the ATFLIR pod, which contains the most advanced sensors and powerful tracking systems on the market. And so then they then they go into a detail. They show you all this, like so. Here's the sensor of infrared mode, and then he switches it from TV mode TV mode to infrared. They'll show you. Watch here. I'll show you. So that, that's the thing right in the middle. There it is. And then he'll make a switch to, uh, to TV mode so you can see it better, TV video mode. There, now you can kind of see it better. He switched, is operating, and then he switched back. This is the TV mode. So there it is, flying. It appears dark against the bright daytime sky and is clearly oblong and sh oblong-shaped. Now, I wish they would tell us how fast that thing's moving, but I know it starts to move too fast for his own sensors to pick it up. It just goes boop, right out of the side. Uh, so he changes back to the mode, then resets to zoom at 1.0. This, this is telling you all the stuff this guy's doing to track this thing. And then this... this so the object shifted rapidly. They had to get it back on. They've got it. The sensor rapidly regains lock. And then we'll watch it. It's going to... It's going to go, I hope, I hope this is the video where it goes to the left. So he changes his zoom in and out several times. And there the object, is. there it is, mm -hmm. suddenly and instantaneously accelerates to the left out of view of the sensor. The acceleration is so high that the sensor cannot maintain. So it moves so fast that this F-18 sensor, infrared, the most advanced sensor, can't even keep up with this object. So, you know, I, this, the, the theories of, um, you know, if aliens could come to this, like, there's theories that they've already come and that they've infiltrated us and there's aliens walking around. There's that theory. Mm -hmm. uh, that the, but, you know, if they could, obviously, if they could do that, they're much farther along than us, <laughs> right? Uh Why, why? Why wouldn't they have just already? Why wouldn't they have already obliterated our, our planet or taken it over or, mm -hmm. or maybe they're just they, maybe they just think it's cute, you know? I, you know what I was? I, you know maybe I missed it, but did it talk about where this was happening and what yes. area? So there was uh, uh, one was off of the Atlantic coast, okay, in two thousand four, and one was uh, two thousand seventeen. We showed you the Navy pilot off the Southern California, yeah. Um. But this stuff happens all the time, and they're now just so some people were, I don't know how it's leaked. Something must have leaked. Some guy had enough balls to report it, then it leaked, and now they're fucked. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, okay, we have to address it. And so they're addressing it by calling it a UAP. Yeah. Well, yesterday was the Storm Area 51 invasion right. going on. So I think there's a lot of uh, hoopla online. So the, probably the establishment or the deep state, whoever said, well, let's give them a little taste right now. Yeah. Well, it's in the news. Just give them something small. This other footage that's been leaked too much, so they're just giving a little taste of that biscuit of what was really going on in Area 51. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we don't, no one... So, again, super interesting. Uh, I wish thousands of people would have showed up at Area 51 instead yeah. of just a few hundred, which is what it was, right? A few hundred? Something like that. One guy got arrested for peeing on the fence, I think, or something like that. That's it. Dude, you can't pee in public. You can't public urination. <laughs> Everybody, we're doing a live show every Sunday in October in Hollywood, California at the Sycamore Tavern. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for tickets and become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every month. Become a premium member. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com and sign up. Thanks for your support.